Dini? Nice. I went on weather assignment today to make okay. sure that the skiing was okay, and uh, I can report back. It was lovely. Was it good? It was You're awesome. on assignment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Well, it was good. We have uh, proof in the pictures. Chopper 5, and uh, yes, oh, look at the jumps. Yeah, we, oh, I'll tell you what, it is absolutely gorgeous up at the ski resorts. No smog, no fog, just plenty of perfect snow. We are looking at some great weather uh, until you get back to the valley. And then as we head towards the valley, we start to see the haze build up and it gets really thick and gooey right there. Here's another picture in perspective from the Corner Canyon area of Suncrest looking down the canyon. You can see the low layer of with these car, we call them stratus clouds, but they're low clouds. And then of course, above the clouds, it's, it's uh, crystal clear. Now, this was taken by Mike Roth, who's a pilot who was flying in. He's coming in from the north, and this is the clouds in the early morning hours. That's the Wasatch Range, and you can see the sun off in the distance with the sunrise. These are low clouds shrouding the valley, and that's the reason, my friends, that we have been so fogged over and clouded over all day long. They did thin a little bit. We saw brief sunshine. Lots of fog in the Bear Lake Valley, 25 and 1. Steve Coons reports today, but Rock Springs was 42, Moab was 45, Price was 44, Ephraim, cold in the morning, but 45 in the afternoon, and Rex in Tokerville says uh, today's high was 57, right now 52 in St. George, and as the sun goes down in Mesquite, 61, 14 in Vernal is the Arctic place. We call this the Siberia of Utah, the Uinta Basin. It, it always gets cold. You get snow on the ground, and it just plain old flat old does not warm up. Well, there is a little weak storm system sliding by to the north, but this big ridge of high pressure is like a blockade. It is keeping everything from reaching Utah right now. But watch what happens. It starts to push eastward. We have a cold front along the coastline, but it starts to split. And these splitting jet streams are extremely difficult to forecast. What I do know is that there seems to be a zone of development here. This is 6 p.m. on Sunday, so we'll start to see snow developing Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and potentially from somewhere between Rock Springs and Ely and somewhere between uh, Box Elder County and south towards Nephi, we're going to see some significant snowfall. And as you can see here, I put on the Wasatch back, snow on Monday and early Tuesday, and then very cold Arctic air slides in behind this. We're talking about air that is as cold as the air was that hit us early in January. You remember that? So the basin goes down to 10 below zero. You'll see a few snow showers on Monday. It gets down into the 20s around Price and Castle Country, single digits as the sun returns later in the week. Now this storm system will bring some snow and rain turning to snow to southeastern Utah. I think there's a possibility that the Four Corners area could get hit pretty hard. Snow in Cedar City on Monday, Tuesday, and then turning colder with sunshine towards the end of the week. St. George. You'll see some rain as the storm splits and heads your way on Monday, and then after that, it just sort of stays chilly. We're talking about highs in the 40s. Potentially could be colder than that. Same thing for the Wasatch Front. Snow is late Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and early Monday. Somebody somewhere between Nephi and Brigham City could see a lot of snow, and uh, we'll have to watch that carefully. Cold after the storm. No smog, though, for a few yeah, days. Good news there. There's always that. Yeah, you got to look for the bright part. That's the bright side. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome.